downloads fairly quickly straight into your main menu. As you can see along the top here you have a number of options, photos, music, movies, TV shows, applications and files. Across the top here on the left you have the account name that you are signed in with, whether or not you want to shut the machine, shut the boxy software down, suspend it and obviously make any settings changes. Up here you've got the current time and also the temperature and weather details should you wish to know it. Some people might want to or they could look out the window. Here you've got feeds which are sort of suggested for you. You've also got featured content and you've got a queue here that you can set up. So let's take a quick look at what's in TV shows. So you click on TV shows and what comes up is different content that you might have available to you. So for example, let's say I wanted to watch some Chuck. I can select Chuck. I can wait a few moments. I've got whatever episodes are currently available to me. So in this case, let's say I haven't seen the season opener. I can see some information on the right hand side of the screen here. What is What about it? The original air date, the running time and some information about the episode. I can go and select it. And I've got a number of options then. I can either watch it from a local file if I've actually recorded it on my media center for example or recorded it somehow onto my computer. Um, I can also watch from an NBC source or from Hulu. And again obviously you need accounts potentially on different sources to watch it and will also depend on the speed of your internet connection. So for example if you wanted to stream a television show you probably want a pretty good uh, internet connection. Anyway coming out of that for a second going back to the menu app, if we go to apps here we can see a number of the most popular applications that Boxy supports so for example the Boxy browser if you wanted to go on the web YouTube, Flickr, um, also if you wanted to go for example the BBC iPlayer so I can select the BBC iPlayer I have the option to actually remove it from the apps if I don't ever want to use it I even can add it as a shortcut so it will appear on my front menu or I can start the BBC iPlayer which is what I'm going to do now again the speed of this will be dependent on your internet connection so here I am BBC iPlayer let's select TV um, let's select BBC 2 because I forgot to watch last night's Heroes for example oh and there it is um, so I can go straight to here and select Heroes I can see the air date was last night and I can now play it obviously I can also add it to my queue I can mark it as watched, I can share it with people, but let's say I wanted to play it, so I just click that and I wait. And here we are, so I can start it, and here it is starting. So, okay, let's stop that. So now coming back out of the menu is quite easy. So I'll go back to here. Let's say I wanted to make some changes. I mean, here, here, by the way, is where you can set up some shortcuts. By default, you get Netflix, MLB, Pandora for internet radio, and How I Met Your Mother. But again, this is only the beta, and you can change this, and I'm sure this will change as well. But let's say I wanted to go into settings quickly. I can change my media, appearance, video, music, network, system settings so for example I can choose my audio hardware come out of that go down to general and it tells me the version number the build date uh, screen resolution all sorts of information like that and I can change background information anyway in a nutshell that was a very very quick walk around the boxy menu um, if you want to test it for yourself go to www.boxy.tv and download the beta now. It will work on Windows, Mac, uh, Apple TV and Linux. So have fun. Okay.